Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. In the last sessions, we already discussed a few problems related to P and C. Now let's continue the, the problems uh, in P and C. See the first question which is given in this session. See here, find out the number of ways in which uh, six rings of different types can be own in three fingers. Here, this kind of problems are very important. So many students uh, will confuse at this point. Uh, now I will tell you that how to solve this problem. See here, find out the number of ways in which uh, six rings are there. Total, let us take these are the six rings. These are the six rings of different types can be owned in three fingers. Uh, these are the three fingers. These are the three fingers. Uh, that we can uh, own those six uh, rings to these uh, fingers okay now it is uh, very easy to understand that uh, whenever you are wearing this particular ring each and every ring suppose this is one two three four five six and we have only three different fingers we have only three different fingers it means uh, maximum if you if you select uh, only one to each and every finger if you select only one finger if you keep only one finger uh, one ring to each and every finger only three rings will be over still we will left over with uh, three it means that in this problem he is uh, indirectly mentioning that uh, repetition of rings uh, to the fingers are allowed repetition allowed if you understand this concept then it is very easy to set the answer repetition allowed whenever repetition allowed whenever repetition is allowed our required answer to get the result is n power r n power r here also so many students will confuse what is n power r whether it is 6 power 3 or else 3 power 6 which uh, 3 power 6 which one is uh, uh, n and which one is r so many students will confuse i will tell you in detail see here the task is to wear one rings to the fingers here first ring first ring can be worn to any of the three fingers why because repetition is allowed repetition is allowed so automatically first ring can be owned to any of the three fingers that is three ways that is three ways similarly second ring that is also three ways why because repetition allowed you can uh, own a uh, second ring to the same finger as that of the first ring no issues third ring third ring is also three ways likewise uh, up to sixth ring sixth ring is also three ways sixth ring is also three ways after that you need to multiply all the values how many threes we got it uh, here one two three four five and uh, six total six threes are there Therefore, our required answer is 3 power 6. It is not 6 power 3. It is not uh, 6 power 3. It is uh, 3 power 6. In 3 power 6 ways, we can uh, own 6 rings to the 3 fingers. That is the answer for this question. And here the condition which is very important is repetition allowed. Repetition allowed. See the next question. Find the number of ways of arranging the letters of the word material. Here the word which is given as uh, material. Here the word which is given as material. Such that all the vowels uh, in the word are come together. All the vowels are uh, come together. Here the vowels which are uh, given in the word that is A, E and A, E, I, A. These are the four vowels. These are the four vowels. Now, all these vowels are come together. It means we need to take all these four vowels as single entity and remaining letters, whatever the remaining letters left over, what are those? M, T, 
R L. These are the remaining letters. Now you can arrange uh, these four letters plus one single entity. Four letters plus one single entity in five factorial ways. Four plus one five. These five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways. Your answer is not completed. Again, within this single entity, we have four letters. We have how many letters? Four letters. Those four letters can be arranged in four factorial ways. And again, in that four letters, uh, the letter A is repeated twice. The letter A is repeated twice. So, I need to divide with uh, two factorial. Why? Because the letter A is repeated twice. So, that I need to divide with uh, two factorial. So, you can multiply these two. That is the final result. Here, as we know that 5 factorial is equal to 120 and 4 factorial is uh, 24 divided by 2 factorial is equal to 2. Now, you can uh, cancel these two. 2 12s. 12 into 12, 144 and 0 is there. You can keep uh, 0. Therefore, we can arrange uh, the word material in 1440 four, 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 ways uh, such that all the vowels are uh, in the word are come together. That is a given condition. Next question. In a birthday party, every person shakes hands with uh, every other person. In a birthday party, every person shakes hands with every other person. If there are, if there was a total of 28 handshakes, if there was a total of 28 handshakes in a party, how many persons were present in the party? How many persons were present in the party. That is the question he is asking. See, in order to make one handshake, as we don't know number of persons, let us take number of persons as n. In order to make a single handshake, we must require how many persons? Two persons. In order to make a single handshake, we must require two persons. As we have n number of persons, and the number of handshakes which is given as 28, we, not, uh, we need to select uh, 2 out of n. Why? Because uh, number of handshakes, uh, handshake will be formed by selecting 2 persons out of total n. n is called as number of persons in the party. We can select uh, 2 persons out of n that is possible in nc2 ways. nc2 is equal to 28. Uh, nc2 is nothing but n into n minus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 28 and this 2 goes to right side which is equal to 56. Uh, n into n minus 1 that value is 56. n into n minus 1. And uh, guys don't multiply these uh, this equation and uh, solve the value for n. Why? Because uh, if you go through the uh, multiplication process you will get a quadratic equation it will be time taking process to calculate the answer but if you observe the numbers carefully n and n minus 1 these are consecutive numbers these are consecutive numbers n and n minus 1 the product of two consecutive numbers is equal to 56 the product of two consecutive numbers is equal to 56 then try to assumption that uh, what are the two consecutive numbers, their product is uh, 56. It is not a difficult task to identify also. 8 into 7. Here, 8 7s are 56. 8 7s are 56. 8 and 7 both are consecutive numbers only. Therefore, n into n minus 1. Here, n value is equal to 8, n minus 1 is equal to 7. It satisfies the given condition. Therefore, number of persons in the party, that is 8. Number of persons. Number of persons is equal to 8. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.